So I don't, I don't know uh, much about uh, how to tell like what your air quality is like. I have an app on my phone and stuff like that, and that kind of tells you the general uh, information of the air quality outside your house, right? If it's got a lot of high pollen count and things like that. But um, since we moved here, this is our, our new house, which is in a new province and all that. Uh, this past month, this past month, maybe even a little longer, right? Ever since it kind of started warming up and kind of getting from kind of winter to spring, uh, I've been having like my throat's been sore and I've had like some sinus stuffy issues and I've been all kinds of stuff. And a friend of mine was like, maybe, maybe, maybe there's some problem with the air quality in your house, but it could also be, and I don't know, it could also be that I have you know, possibly allergies to something here in this area versus where we lived before and I didn't. So moving here, all of a sudden my body's like, I don't, I don't like whatever is going on during the springtime. Maybe that's a thing. Um, but I wanted to try to uh, take out or see if there was anything kind of in the house, maybe that was possibly an issue or a concern so we bought like an air purifier which which is it's doing good i guess i don't know uh and i got this this air quality detector and right now just so you guys know i got it from banggood uh because it was really good price a flash deal right now it's like 27 dollars canadian uh normally 29.93 so it, it's a little bit off it's not a huge amount off but for 30 bucks i was like you know what i'll, I'll give it a try because uh, why not anything that can help especially here in the basement right uh, i don't get a lot of fresh air or anything like that here in the basement so i figured i could set this up here somewhere and just let it run and i could see what the air quality is like in this room because this is probably where i spend the majority of my time throughout the day Okay, so here here it is. It's got 4.7 stars, 98 reviews. Uh, that seems, especially I think for the price point, really good. Uh, big screen, easy to read, easy to carry, 24 hour real time monitoring, suitable for office, family, gym, doesn't really matter. Uh, detectable substance, CO, CO2, HCHO, TVOC, and AQI. Uh, what are all those? I don't even know necessarily. Oh, here we go. Uh, Formaldehyde, carbon dioxide, that's that's a good one, right? Uh, carbon monoxide, that's a really good one. Air quality in general and chemical pollutants. So uh, I'm hoping at one point in time, it actually will go through and kind of tell you what your numbers are that you, know, you wanna make sure that they should be um, because uh, a number's gonna come up and I'm gonna be like, I have no idea if that's actually something that is uh, higher or not, right? So uh, we'll, we'll pop it open, let it do its measuring, I guess, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what this room is kinda, kinda telling me if we're okay, if we're okay, right? So here it is, you get a little, little uh, a USB-C port, that's good. Refer to table. Oh, here we go. Refer to table for quality uh, pollution levels. So it tells you right there. So you guys may or may not be able to see that. I'll bring that up close. Hopefully you guys can see that. So if we can be excellent, it tells you for, for each number. I don't have to go look for, looking for that information. It has a excellent, good, uh, slight pollution, uh, moderate pollution, heavy pollution, and serious pollution. So the, the goal is, is that I can be hopefully up into excellent in this area. You get, well, first off, first off you get this, which it's a, that's a good size cable, USB A to USB C, seems, seems decent, seems like I should have no issues with that. And this is, this is actually littler than I thought it was gonna be. That's it right there. You know, it's got, I don't know if it's got like a plastic coating on the screen here, possibly. Yeah, it does. Cause I was like, it seems a little scratchy, but that's because you got this, right? Ah, ah, that's good. All right, slide that over there. So there we go. There it is right there. Our air quality detector. All we need to do is make sure all the numbers match, match up. Uh, we have a reset. Uh, what does that say? A new? 
and on off. I don't know what, what that is. Reset a new, a new data calibration. Oh, date. And then this one data clearing. So maybe what happens is you turn it on and then you just kind of, just kind of let it, let it do its thing. So let's see what it says here. General knowledge. Please check whether the instrument is in good condition. Seems to be. Instrument can only be tested and used after the startup d data is stable. Uh, instrument needs to be preheated for 120 seconds. Okay. Doors and windows shall be closed for indoor inspection, which they are. Detection time of the instrument is about 10 to 60 minutes and about 3 to 15 minutes in small spaces such as cabinets and drawers. It is recommended to monitor for a long time. The real-time data is unstable. Stable, please refer to the average value. Okay, please do not put the detector in the environment with high concentration of dust and pay attention to fire, water, dust, fall, sun, moisture, blah blah blah. Prevent violent shaking. Do not use electronic instruments for children or with those with. I don't know, can you say that anymore? Can you say that really? I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. Read the line with mental. I guess if they have that, that's, that's fine, funny that they put it in there. If it's not used for a long time, please put it in a safe area. Please do not disassemble. All right, that's cool. Doesn't really tell you much for, for actually getting it to function, I think. All right, well, so be it. Let's, uh, let's turn it on. Ready? I hope this has power. On. And now, now we wait. Now we wait. Because right now my air quality is zero. So my hope is that it's going to go through all these and uh, figure this out. It says 10 to 10 to 15 minutes ish, somewhere in that area. Uh, it does say that it, it's about three hours to charge if you uh, need it, need to charge it, and it'll work for 180 to 240 minutes, so between three and four hours of working time. Okay, we'll be we'll be back in a bit after this does its does its thing, I guess. Okay, so this little air quality uh, detector has been going on now for, I don't know, probably about a half hour. Uh, I think they want you to kind of run it longer at the beginning just so it gets a good idea of actually what's going on. Because if the, if you do it shorter, then it's kind of just a burst versus like an overall estimate of, of actual air quality. So this is the air quality in uh, my, my room as of now. And I'm just going to bring this up. Because it does have, like I said, it does have the numbers. You guys hopefully can see that there somewhere here, right? So you guys can screenshot that or pause the video or whatever if you want to see it. So a CO, basically I'm at 13 and, and they say anywhere from zero to 50 is considered excellent. So, right, that's, that's good. Uh, CO2, zero to 450 is excellent. Now I'm at 419, so that puts me, that puts me into good, because good is 451 to 1000. So, um, CO2, now it could also, uh, and I'm not, again, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe that's because I'm just sitting here talking and I'm close to it, and maybe it's just getting extra CO2. I'm gonna place this up on a shelf and uh, let it run, and this way we can get a, a good idea over a longer period, maybe I can bring that down, but still I got an excellent and a good. Uh, HCHO, HCHO, uh, zero to 0 0.08, and I'm 0 0.05. So again, we're at excellent, so that's good. Uh, AQI, uh, this is your air quality in index or something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, zero 01 is excellent, zero 02 is good, so we're at zero 02. Um, and zero three, zero four, zero five, zero six. So, you, you know, you'd, zero three would probably still be okay. It's slight pollution. Maybe you'd get that, especially if it was outdoors or you're living in an apartment downtown or something like that. Uh, and last but not least, uh, TVOC, TVOC zero to zero point five. Uh, oh, what is that? Zero to zero point five. Uh, I'm at zero point. Well, it was zero point seven. Now it's zero point eight. That puts me at slight pollution. That puts me at zero, that, yeah, slight pollution. Because zero to 0 0.5, why is it 0.9? It's going up. One, I'm gonna turn that that way, just maybe, maybe, yeah, so maybe also just check to make sure, like, now my air quality index went to 0 0.3, which is uh, slight pollution. I'm gonna keep just letting that go. Uh, but, what was that one? TVOC, TVOC, 
point eight. That puts me at yeah slight pollution. So what is that? What is what is what is that one measuring? TVOC. It is going down. It is dropping. So I think I think maybe you want to make sure the screen is upright like this versus laying on its back because it's probably somewhere in the back that it's kind of getting all the stuff. Yeah, now see my TVOC is down to 0, 0 0.3, so it's dropping. It was when I placed it on the back that it was going crazy. But what is it? That's the real question. What is it? Organic volatiles. Organic volatiles. So I'm back, back down to 0 0.2, so that's good. I'm happy with that because 0 0.2 puts me into yeah, puts me into excellent. So, okay, we're, 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 we're back. So the only one I really have, and I want to say issue with at all, that's not sitting at like ex excellent, was CO2. So, um, we're, we're, doing, we're, do, we're doing okay. We're doing okay, I think. I think we're doing okay. Um, anyways, it could be some good information for you guys to use at, at your own house if you're concerned at all, especially if maybe you're someone that has like even like seasonal al allergies or you have some kind of condition where you're just like oh, I'm having problems right or you just want to know because maybe you're thinking about being like maybe I need to get like an air purifier or something and this can kind of give you an idea of what the air quality uh, around your house is like before you invest in something a lot more expensive right because this is only 20 something bucks 27 dollars Canadian all right guys so I'm going to leave links to Banggood's website if you guys are interested in this because, hey, it's always, it's always good to know what you're breathing in. Always good because what I've heard is air is important for us. That's what I've heard. That's a rumor. All right, my friends, uh, links to Banggood's website, 30 bucks could be very well spent. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. And uh, there's my numbers. If you get one of these, let me know what yours are in comparison. Yeah, comment below. I'm out. Later, guys.